The Bisha massacre occurred on 7 September 1992 in Bisha, in the nominally independent homeland of Suske in South Africa. 28 African National Congress supporters and one soldier were shot dead by the Suske Defense Force during a protest march when a attempted to enter Bisha to demand the reincorporation of Suske into South Africa during the final years of apartheid. Background Bisha was the capital of the Suske, a nominally independent homeland for the Khosa people in South Africa. The system of racially segregated homelands had been a core of apartheid, but between 1990 and 1994, negotiations were taking place between the government of South Africa and the African National Congress to end the apartheid system, with multiracial democratic elections as the likely outcome of the negotiations. The ANC wished to organize and mobilize its supporters in the Suske, particularly as it lay in the Eastern Cape area, a traditional stronghold for ANC supporters. However, its military leader Brigadier Upagozo resisted this and prevented the ANC from organizing protest march and massacre. On 3 September, the ANC sent a memorandum to President F. W. de Klerk demanding that he replace Gozo with an interim administration which would permit free democratic activity in Suske. But de Klerk refused, on the grounds that the Suske did not fall under South Africa's jurisdiction. At the time, negotiations had broken down with the ANC withdrawing following the Boapatong massacre and accusing de Klerk's government of fomenting the violence. As a result, the ANC began a campaign of mass action, organizing a protest march to occupy Bisha and force Gozo's resignation. Gozo sought a court interdict to prevent the march, and the magistrate ruled that it could take place at the Homelands Independence Stadium, outside Bisha, but could not enter the capital. The ANC refused to recognize the jurisdiction of the Suske court. On 7 September, about 80,000 protesters gathered outside Bisha, signaling the wide opposition to Gozo's rule. The meeting was led by senior ANC leaders including South African Communist Party Secretary General Chris Hani, Cyril Ramaphosa, Steve Schweet and Ronnie Casrills. When Casrills led a group trying to break through the Suske Defence Force lines to enter Bisha, Suske Defence Force soldiers opened fire on the marches with automatic weapons, killing 28 marchers and one soldier, and injuring over 200. More than 425 rounds were fired, the first fusillade lasting one and a half minutes, and the second lasting a minute. Various inquiries agreed that the order to fire came from Colonel Vakale Archibald Marzana, who incorrectly told his commanders by radio that his troops were under fire, and was given permission to return fire. Rifleman Mazamil Thomas Gonya was also found to have opened fire with a grenade launcher, killing one marcher. Goldstone Commission the Goldstone Commission was tasked with investigating the massacre, and Justice Richard Goldstone condemned Gozo for preventing political activity in Suske as well as for the lethal brutality of the Suske defense. Force troops. It dismissed his claim that the demonstrators had fired first, and it was later found that a Suske soldier who died during the shooting had been shot by a fellow soldier. It recommended strong action against Gozo and those responsible. It also condemned Ronnie Casserles for his irresponsible action in leading marches breaking through the razor wire and provoking the forces into opening fire. Aftermath Ultimately, the massacre led to new negotiations between the ANC and the government. Nelson Mandela met de Klerk on 26 September and signed a record of understanding, establishing an independent body to oversee police operations. Gozo remained in power in Suske but resigned shortly before the elections of 27 April 1994. A granite monument was erected on the site of the massacre, outside Independence Stadium, off Maitland Road between Bisho and King William's Town. It was unveiled by Archbishop Desmond Tutu in 1997. The victims were buried in Ginsburg Township outside King William's Town. 
Truth Commission hearing and prosecution. Only two applications for amnesty for the massacre were received by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, from Colonel Marzana, who gave the order to open fire, and Rifleman Gonya, who fired a grenade launcher. Gozo agreed to testify before the TRC, but failed to appear after being admitted to a psychiatric hospital suffering from depression. In 2000, both Marzana and Gonya were denied amnesty on the grounds that their actions were reckless and disproportionate and not associated with a political motive. Following their failure to receive amnesty, Marzana and Gonya were charged with one count of murder and Marzana with 28 counts of culpable homicide. They were found not guilty on all charges on the grounds of self-defense.